Hey, how's it going everybody? It's me, Solo Supreme, and welcome back to Victoria 2. The last campaign we left off at was the Rise of Mother Russia campaign, where we dealt with all this shindiggery in Western Europe and, you know, at times in Asia. But now we are going across the ocean, across the Atlantic, all the way to Brazil, and we are going to play a campaign as Brazil. Now, this is going to be interesting because I never had a full campaign as Brazil. I always played for like maybe like the first 10 years or so before I go off and do other things. But this time I'm going to stick with Brazil and see how we do. Now, if I remember correctly, oh yeah, we do have like some cores on our neighbors such as Amazonas and over here, yeah, pretty much these two areas up here in Colombia and Brazil, or uh, Bolivia, I mean. So, this first episode is probably going to be a little slow because I kind of want to check around and see all the different doodads. So, I kind of had uh, somewhat of a game plan set out for this series. Early on, we're not going to really focus on military techs um, yet. We're going to hold out on that just for like a few years. But we're going to focus on, early on we're going to focus on cultural texts such as romanticism, social thought, like these, a uh, little bit of commerce and you know, round it out with some industry. Really, most of our like, industry, such as like the railroads, probably won't be useful to like level three or four because, as you can see, Brazil is just straight up jungle, and we only have like a handful of planes down here. So, let's see, we have an alliance offer from Paraguay. Uh, no, Paraguay actually has a core of ours, so we're gonna leave that. So, what is the first research going to be? I think we should go for, let's see, how long will romanticism? That will take three years, what about this one? Okay, so we do need education. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so actually we're gonna go for romanticism get this out of the way it'll take three years oh um, this one will take one year and we do need that but i do want to get start getting some prestige actually this yeah let's stick with um social thought tree down here get the education score up and what we're gonna do is start promoting clergymen in our most populous states all right all right so this is gonna be kind of weird kind of taking it slow kind of like all sorts of things at once you can lower the naval maintenance down raise education raise the hell out of terrors raise taxes we're just gonna tax everybody for right now um, where's our military at? As you can see, our military isn't like super fantastic. And what I'm actually gonna do is probably engage in some aggression. So let's unpause the game, see how this goes. All right, USCA, Argentina. Okay, Argentina, you, do you have a core? No, you don't. So Argentina, you'll be fine. USCA. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll accept it for right now. What about Venezuela? Can we ally you? Uh, let's increase relations. All right, so gain a couple new allies. We are no doubt going to be speared soon. So we have the Conservative Party in power. We could go. Mm, we go liberal soon try to push some policies but uh for starters we still have to increase our education efficiency 
your ally to Argentina. Argentina, would you join us? I right, let's see if this works. What about? It? What would you say, Argentina? It will not accept. Hell, Argentina might actually declare war on us. But what about Colombia? Colombia has no allies right now. Bolivia is allied with Peru. Where would this territory be? It's just, it's tobacco. Not too high in pop. Let's hold out. Yeah, let's actually hold out on some of these wars for just a little bit. Chile. Uh, yeah, let's take a thing from Chile. They don't have any cores today. No? Okay, so. Yeah, let's actually take a seat down for a little bit. Lower the military spending. Raise education efficiency. Because certainly at this point, we're going to have to take it slow for a little bit. Just going to sit down and wait it out. Try to at least get our pop to 2%. Okay, so let's see. Chile declared war on Bolivia. Okay, so we can actually go for one of our cores. Could I also call you in? You're not going to accept. Great. What could I... I can ally you, but what about Venezuela? Can I ally you now? Oh yes, you'll accept. Alright, so let's actually kick the military back up. And we're gonna have to play this a little bit careful. Alright, so let's go over here. Because as of right now, actually I could mobilize. All we get will be five brigades. Good lord. Uh Limits the amount of mobile saying it's 30. Raise six. Oh, okay. So let's not worry about that for right now. Let's actually worry about sieging down some of this territory. Get you guys over here. All right, you got two attack, three defense. Uh, let's build some soldiers. Yeah, it's just four infantry. This is gonna be slow wars because we're gonna be have to traveling through all this jungle and whatnot over here. So this is gonna be pretty weird. Let's kick it up to speed three for a little bit. I'm an empire in the UK. Got it. Maybe Argentina might join in if we like lower their strain. Yeah, you guys can come up here and siege that down. I do want to get Amazonas. Crossover through here. Yeah, siege through all this jungle and whatnot. As long as they don't get to Rio down here. Oh, I think that changed like actual history. Cause I know for a fact now Rio isn't the actual capital of Brazil now. Though it used to be at one point. Um I think like the capital of Brazil now is Brasilius or something. All right, so we're just gonna seize down there. We can go down here to Chikukitaba and take that. I don't hurt them. We're probably gonna be taking on some debt soon with the loans. All right, let's continue sieging down. Could I add a war goal? War is not going well enough, okay. 
Oh crap! Um, I forgot to also set a rally point. Where are the soldiers? Oh, they're over here. Get over, get down there. Mm -hmm. Argentina declared war on Bolivia. Okay, so Argentina jumped in on their own for a separate war, and did they bring in Paraguay? Looks like they did. Yep, you can have military access. All these great powers making alliances and such. I think the reason why we're getting pop-ups about UK and France is because they border us with their colonies over here. You won't accept. Damn, it's taking forever to siege down these provinces. Yeah, let's get like some extra artillery. You know, I don't think that artillery helps. I think I might be thinking of engineers. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're already taking investments or loans, I should say. Seeing as how we can't really afford this war. Actually, no, let's merge all these guys up. All right, they're crossing over through there. All right, merge you guys. Guess you guys could probably loop up there. I hit up through there. Ecuador wants an alliance. Sure, Ecuador. Bolivia, let's do acquire core. Alright, and since we go after Bolivia, we could take this core back in the war, and get it like a little bit of prestige. Though. Our debt crisis is not too bad now. We're still gonna have to worry about it eventually. Oh, great. Go help them out. All right, looks like they surrendered. Alright, but thank goodness we were in the mountains and Argentina kind of gave us back up. And we had a good defensive leader that helped out a lot. Oh, you're heading to Chikuska. Don't, don't run Argentina, you bastard! Force them in time. Our 16. Oh, they're not going to be able to hold out much longer. Come on. One more day. The general got killed. Please send all their men. Damn it. Chief in this battle. Argentina, if Argentina had stayed in the damn mountains, it would have been fine, but then they just abandoned us there. Oh, jeez. Let's kick it up to a higher speed. Let's see, can we be a dickhead? No, not yet. Venezuela, could you join in? No. 
done. Keep going for education efficiency. Need to get our people literate. This is plain. We're gonna have so many issues dealing with this debt. We don't handle this war quick enough. Look at this. <laughs> oh boy. So, all right, so I was thinking about like, you know, once we establish some sort of dominance, uh, let's just try to lower that. Some sort of dominance in South America, we might do some colonialism in Africa, but who knows? This war may shape up to be something completely bastardized all on its own. It would be great if we had a great power ally. Argentina didn't. Alright, all those other wars ended. Alright, so. We can take this. We don't really need to be in this war if we're gonna get what we want, so let's just take what we want and peace out. I frankly don't care. All right, so let's drop the spending. We're gonna have to drop it by a lot. Because we're gonna need to make some money back. We are pretty much 2200 in debt and our debt keeps climbing. We essentially cannot afford this. We're gonna have the lower education spend there. Let me see, do we have any navy that we can get rid of? No. Right now we have basically these guys that can just stop being made. All right, so that's gonna relieve us just a little bit. It's start. It's also like the recovery rate for these brigades being built. All right. So right now we're just gonna have to sit here and just gain our power slowly. <laughs> Definitely don't want to get into a war with Colombia at this moment. We're gonna have to. Refrain from any conflicts. All right, so we got 2% in Rio. Let's go for you now. Raise that up. You're almost there in Bahia. All right, let's try to repay back at least most of this stuff. Try to keep our debt down and the interest low too. Argentina goes bankrupt, of course. Try to clear this out. Trying to take it out in big chunks so like we don't default like Argentina just did. That's why I had to just try to get us out of that war as fast as possible. We are making money though, and the interest rate we did lower it a bit. As long as like the interest rate doesn't pass or like daily balance, I think. I think we're good because if it passed that then we default all right I'm just trying to put out a safe number right now all right pass that all right we're almost paid off our debt yeah and then this war is going on over here but yeah we gained a core bag um, for Bolivia so happy about that 
We do have to get one back from Columbia. And I think that's it. I think it's just Columbia now. Yeah, I have military access. I kind of want to keep everyone on at least good terms. And until we get, like, speared for, um, like, you know, by a great power. So we can at least have some muscle behind our situation. But let's actually... Do, do, do. Uh, your relations are pretty good with you. Let's increase relations with the UK and France. All right. Pay this. So we're about 500 bucks left. Also, let's see, what is this party? Free trade. Let us actually switch to the liberal party right now. I wanna switch to them. What I'm gonna do is raise the hell out of our tariffs because we need it. All right, and pay off our debts. All right, there, we are fully paid off on our loans. Can we raise education back up? Okay, so we're gonna be gaining a net positive right now. All right, let's go to here. Bahia. And continue with our clergymen. We are just gonna have to modernize. It's gonna be quite some time before we become a great power. So let's just focus on building up our site and our industry. And then we can focus on military expansionism. I'm hoping if everything keeps on the right track, I'm hoping to possibly move over into Africa within the maybe 1850s. I doubt, I highly doubt we'll be able to compete with the other great powers around that time. And also let me see, politics, decisions, avant-garde intelligentsia average conscious is four prestige is greater than 45 all right trustee system pop millers to see yeah this the whips crack haven't been in army decision making that's like where is it ah oh, it's down here but yeah right now we're just gonna have to we're focusing on increasing our education, which in turn is going to give us more points to mess around with uh, uh, research. So, let's see. Also, I kind of want to just keep it like this right now because we are generating money. But let's see. How much higher can I go on military spending? Let's keep it like this. Okay, this is still pretty good. I wanna raise it up and can we push this back to 50? All right. All right, this is decent. Once we get done with these clergymen, I will focus on like, you know, soldiers because as you can see, we are pretty much overfielded right now with the brigades we can support. That's just the cost of war. It's something we are gonna have to deal with. As you can see, the Argentini, uh, I said Argentina, Argentina is like having some issues. All right, so we got an election. All right, but yeah, let's stick with the Liberal Party for right now. Let's see, if we can probably push some reforms such as outlawing slavery. We get this. This will help us, like you know, gain some moral pops, like through immigration. Because I think Brazil, since it's in the New World, it has like that bonus. It's not, I don't think it's as good as the United States because the United States has like the New York and Ellis Island thing, but it should still be pretty good. How long will this take? Too long. <laughs> how long about, how about this one? Two years. Let's go for romanticism. Oh no, let's go for idealism and then like try to like go for the prestige text next. We need to just gain some research points. Alright, so 
Let's at least try to encourage residency. But we're gonna have to like, you know, deal with this political situation for the time being. Keep raising our relations with UK. Heck, actually, you know, let's also raise relations to the United States. Do that. We got 100% relation. Well, not 100%, but you know what I mean. Let's try to keep everyone happy. This war with Argentina, uh, Argentina is going to go weirdly. Let's try to promote free trade. I mean, people are going to be pissed, but we got to try to make our people as much liberal as possible so we can pass some reforms soon. Keeping okay. See our pool of possible soldiers are rising. A little bit. We're taxing the hell out of the middle class, though. This is not good, but it's something we need to accomplish right now. Censorship. Uh, let's, let's go for that. I'm pretty sure we're going to need that later. Do-do-do. Send some to our neighbors. The two prestige will always be healthy. No. Don't want them. We want them. Screw what they say. We need this. I mean, yeah, the people are going to be pissed at us, but we definitely need this right now. Like, as the education and stuff goes up, then our country will become more liberal. But for right now, we're going to have to focus on basically dealing with these cultural issues and then we can start putting some in the industry i kind of want to knock out a lot of cultural text first because we have to play catch up with like some of our you know with our literacy and all of this Gain 10 liberal, yes. All right. So we can outlaw slavery. Let's do this right now. Slavery has been outlawed. Hurrah, hooray. So slavery is outlawed. We are going to gain like a bit more population. All right. So we can also build naval bases. We have one in Rio. We could, yeah, let's actually build some naval bases. Because for starters, we could start having at least a decent sized navy to begin with. And that'll be helpful. There goes my alarm. And actually, I'm going to end this episode off right here. So, well, we did get into that bitter war with Bolivia we did manage to get our core out of it so it was not all for naught we are generating some income right now we are focusing on building up our naval bases so we can possibly have a chance at you know maybe get into some of the colonial race that's gonna go happen in Africa though I kind of doubt it we may not be able to like push it too far because as you can see our Naval tech is <laughs> is the worst out of all of them. So, but before I wrap this episode up, I kind of want to just fill in on the game plan. So, I want to try to go for idealism or romanticism. Try to get these two done. Uh, here we go. Pretty much around 1870 is when we're going to see like the beginning of the colonial race. So by that time, I'm hoping to get like at least down to realism, uh, maybe like finish off empir uh, empiricism when that's done, finish off um, functionalism because um, we got to wait till biologism and then once that happens and we get the beautiful Darwinism, which gives the extra 50% bonus to education, we should be like you know pretty straight on terms of how educated our populace is we're not um necessarily i'm gonna like you know do some ideological thought and like get hopefully get down to nationalism and imperialism 
psychology that might wait a little bit i might go like a little bit for introspectionism all the way down to associate like associationism down here and save off on that and then focus on like industries such as like metallurgy and infrastructure definitely we're going to need chemistry and electricity because we're going to need medicine and you know get some of these power trees such as practical steam engine and mechanization done and then we can focus on like some naval techs and the army tech like pay catch up because we're not going to be able to compete with the great powers anytime soon so we don't have to worry about that especially if we have a great power backer we should be pretty uh you know we should be pretty good in terms of protection so with that said i hope to see you guys again in the next episode this is solo supreme and <laughs> Hope you have a nice day because when we return, I still have to figure out a name to give this series. So by the time it's uploaded, it should. So hope to see you guys again later. Now this one is pure niceness. Nice, 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 nice.